What's up guys? Let's go through this scribble animation tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is lay down your clips on the timeline. In this case, for this example, I've got three clips uh, that I'm going to edit. And you want to make sure that you edit those and that they're in the right positions. Uh, you don't want to have anything change later, otherwise more will impact your scribble animation. I also set some markers in for when I want to start the scribble animation and end it. And so I've got, obviously, here four uh, different locations. Uh, after that, you just go into the Color tab. You will want to make sure you do anything that affects the, the image, whether that's zooming, whether that's color correction, grading, what have you. Do that first uh, before you go uh, to the next step of your uh, scribble animation. So uh, from the Color tab here, you're going to want to press Control-Alt-G, which is to grab a still image. And it will show up here in uh, the uh, steel gallery you're going to right cursor to the next frame so i'm just going to right cursor on the keyboard do control alt g again right cursor again control alt g just keep doing this until you get to the end so in my case i need about 12. Okay, so I'm at the 12th keyframe. I'm going to verify that I'm there. Okay. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is to select all of those. Right click, export. And in my case here, I've got a folder called Scribble. And I'm going to create a new folder in here called Sequence 1. Sequence one before. Okay. Go into that folder, select JPG, and then I'm going to call it sequence one, and then it will put in all the sub um, file names in there. You'll see that here in a minute. Export. Okay. So you've got two choices here. You can either go to your next sequence and capture those or you can go and edit this as it is but since this is a tutorial I'm just going to only focus on the one clip and go right into uh, Microsoft Paint so we're going to open up paint here and we're going to open up our file folder so here I've got sequence one and I'm going to sort this by the file names and we don't need the DRX files so just delete those and so you've got one through twelve okay so the first one you're going to want to take is sequence, uh, the, the first file, just drag it into paint. Uh, you, can, you can do what you want to do as far as the animation. Uh, in my case, I like to select usually the first brush, the standard default brush. Let's uh, change the size. I'm just going to use white for the purposes of this animation. Just to draw an outline. Yeah. Okay, so we've got that, and maybe we'll also give him a red eye or something. Let's give him a outline on his eye. Okay, so now you want to save as PNG pic. I'm actually going to create a new directory here. We're going to call it sequence one after. And that's just my preference. And then you just save it right to that file folder. Okay. So you just simply now just go to your next file and drag it in. And if, again, you can do whatever animation you want. In my case, I'm going to stick with. Uh, Drawing the circle here, or the outline. And I'm going to outline his eye. Nice thing is you can always do Control Z if you mess up. I've got kind of a sticking mouse here. So, all right, you do that. Save as PNG again. 
and there you go, okay? So you just continue this process throughout your frame, depending on what you want. Okay, so I've finished with the last clip here, the 12th um, uh, clip. So let's go back to Resolve. Now we'll go into the edit or the media tab. So we need to import that media. So let's see. I'm going to go in here, scribble, and it's sequence one after. I'm going to create a bin. That way I keep it organized. I'm going to call this sequence one. Okay. And it actually grouped them all together, but I'm going to drop it here. Okay. So the nice thing about this is because of the naming convention, Resolve recognized it as a sequence. So that's going to make your editing much easier. If it doesn't recognize it as a sequence, it would have put 12 uh, individual pictures in here, and then you'd have to edit each one for one frame. So because this is a sequence, now you can go from your timeline and literally just drag it here. Okay? So let's look at it because it's on video two or the one above the, the main clip, it will override it. So, okay, so we're going from this position, you see it in action and we're done. Now, one key thing I wanna make, make very clear, the amount of time you spend on this will be completely dependent on, for the most part, how much animation you wanna add. And then the other point is your, um, your timeline. Okay, so that's all you have to do. You continue this for your other sequences, and when you're done, it's going to look something like this. You've got the animation uh, within each of the marker sections or sequences that you have set. Okay? Well, if you've got any questions, let me know. Leave a comment below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe. Peace.